Hey everybody and welcome to Leia's Lair. In today's video, we will be going over every single planet that was visited in Star Wars Episode 3. The episode opens up with Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker rescuing Supreme Chancellor Palpatine above Coruscant. After defeating Dooku and battling Grievous, the flagship they are on crash lands on the planet Coruscant. Coruscant was a central planet located in the Coruscant sector of the Core Worlds. Coruscant served as the capital of the galaxy and had a population of approximately 1 trillion citizens. It had one sun, Coruscant Prime, and four moons. Coruscant was an ecumenopolis, or a city-covered planet known as Galactic City, whose surface was defined by its urban sprawl. The dense city blocks were built on top of each other, with the lowest being level 1, and the highest being level 5127. The lowest habitable level was level 5. At its highest level, Galactic City skyscrapers could reach 6,000 meters into the atmosphere. Coruscant orbited relatively far from its sun, and therefore did not have a climate that suited any one particular species. The planet's weather patterns were affected by the troposphere-piercing buildings that covered the planet's surface. Inside the tallest buildings, enormous differences of temperature and air pressure from top to bottom produced unusual and unpredictable microclimates. As such, Coruscant had its own weather-controlled systems. Coruscant was considered to be the original homeworld of humanity, and as such, humans made up about 68% of the population. However, as one journeyed deeper into the levels of Galactic City, the demographics of the population became more varied. The planet was home to a large community of immigrated species, such as Syrians, Nautilans, Iktachi, Togrudas, and Keldors, to name a few. Many of these species rarely returned to their homeworld, and instead inhabited the lower levels of the city. Coruscant was the site of many important locations. Examples include the Jedi Temple, home to the Jedi Order, the Guardians of Peace and Justice in the Galaxy, the Senate Building, where delegates would meet during sessions of Congress to discuss legislation and galactic policy, Coco Town, a rundown industrial area, the Grand Republic Medical Facility, a tower built to serve as a treatment center for badly injured Republic soldiers, and the Republic Center for Military Operations, a large military base in close proximity to the staging areas. There was virtually no flora or fauna native to Coruscant. The only fauna that was native to the planet were granite slugs. These slugs were capable of consuming mineral matter, secreting acidic saliva as they moved around on the surface of a building. The most notable character to hail from Coruscant was Qui-Gon Jinn, a Jedi Master during the final years of the Galactic Republic. Other notable characters include Finnis Valorum, a politician who served as the penultimate Supreme Chancellor of the Galactic Republic, and Tan Devo, a police inspector in the Coruscant Security Force. Elsewhere, General Grievous arrives on the planet Utapau, where the Trade Federation, the Separatist Council, and others are hiding. Utapau was a terrestrial planet located in the Taraba sector of the Outer Rim Territories. It had a population of roughly 95 million citizens and one sun, Utapau, and nine moons. Utapau was located in grid sector N19 on the standard galactic grid. Utapau had a temperate climate. It was a rocky planet that was covered in enormous sinkholes. There were also deserts and plains on the planet. Below Utapau's surface was the massive world ocean, a huge subterranean body of water. This water contained many powerful currents created by the tidal forces of Utapau's nine moons. These currents eroded the underside of the planet's crust and caused the formation of Utapau's many sinkholes. One of Utapau's continents was more stable than the rest. For that reason, most Utapauans lived on the stabilized continent. Utapau lacked forests, so timber for architecture was hard to come by. As such, Utapau structures were primarily made out of bones of deceased animals. This later would develop into a unique form of architecture called Ossic architecture. There were two native species to the planet. The first were the Powans. They were a gaunt, gray-skinned, long-limbed humanoid species who lived in the planet's many sinkholes. They had exceptionally long lifespans, averaging 700 years, and as such, were also known as the Ancients. The second species were the Utai. The Utai were a species of short, stubby humanoids with distended eyes. 
Together with the Powans, they were collectively known as the Utapowans. Immigrated species to the planet included the Amani, a primitive species who lived on the planet by the time of the Clone Wars, and the Sugi, a species who worked as arms dealers on the planet. Flora on the planet included the cave mold and the ocean kelp. Fauna was more variable and included species such as the Varactyl, a majestic giant reptavian, the Dactylian, a large-winged carnivorous reptavian, the Gintho, a giant spider, and the Nos monster, to name a few. Pau City was the capital of the planet, also known as the Sinkhole City. It was one of the large sinkhole cities that pitted the planet. It was the planet's primary spaceport. The most notable characters to hail from Uta Pau were the Grand Inquisitor, a Jedi Knight who turned to the dark side of the Force and became the leader of the Inquisitorius, Toral Bloom, the governor of Pau City, and Tion Madon, the port administrator of Pau City. Anakin and Obi-Wan remain on Coruscant. Anakin is assigned to watch the Supreme Chancellor, and Obi-Wan travels to Utapau to find Grievous. Meanwhile, Yoda heads to Kashyyyk, along with Luminara Unduli and Gree, along with Tarful and Chewbacca, to defend the planet against the Corporate Alliance tanks, dwarf spider droids, droid gunships, and legions of battle droids. Kashyyyk was a Rosha tree-covered planet in the Kashyyyk system of the Mid-Rim. It had a population of 56 million and three moons, one of which was orange. The planet had no axial tilt with a perfectly circular orbit, and as a result, it did not have any seasons. The center of the planet had a tropical ocean belt, which contained a number of islands and coral reefs. A temperate jungle planet, the landscape was covered in Rochier trees, a species of giant cone-bearing trees that could live up to 50,000 years. The planet was home to many points of interest, such as the Black Forest, a forest that Wookiees believed was cursed and haunted by bad spirits, and the Origin Tree, a sacred tree at the center of the planet that housed a Shio bird. The planet had four major cities, Arathaka, Rokuroro, Vikiana, and Kachiro, the capital. Kashyyyk was the homeworld to the species known as Wookiees, a species of tall, hairy humanoids who spoke in the language of Shiriwook. Shiriwook consisted of growling and howls, and thus was difficult for anyone not a Wookiee to speak or learn, and was also rough on their throat. Wookiees were proud warriors with great strength that had an average lifespan of 400 years. In Wookiee society, loyalty and courage were valued greatly. Kashyyyk was also home to a variety of flora and fauna. Flora include the Roshir tree, the Bonshir tree, the jaw plant, the mush bloom, and the Sava to name a few. Fauna included the Cancel, the Shio bird, the Flame Beetle, the Mycal, and the Tak to name a few. The most notable character to hail from Kashyyyk was Chewbacca, the navigator and longtime companion of Han Solo. Others included Gunji, a force sensitive youngling during the time of the Clone Wars, and Black Chrysanthemum, a Wookiee bounty hunter. The plot progresses on Coruscant. Sheev Palpatine is revealed to be Sith Lord Darth Sidious, and Anakin Skywalker falls to the dark side to become Darth Vader. Sidious then makes the broadcast to execute Order 66. On Utapau, Kenobi is flung off of a cliff by a blast. Kiati Mundi is on the planet Mygito, where he is gunned down. Mygito was a terrestrial planet located in the Outer Rim territories. It had one sun and two moons and was located in grid sector K5 on the standard galactic grid. Mygito was a frigid, snow-covered planet marked by jagged, crystalline landscapes. The planet was considered to be both hostile and exotic, and it had kyber crystals. Mygito was home to the native species the Lerman. Lerman were a sentient, pacifist species that had large yellow eyes and stood about one meter tall. Their bodies were covered in brown or gray fur, over which they wore clothes. They also had a long tail. They inhabited the planet's natural crystal towers before they were reduced to slave status by the banking clan. During the Clone Wars, a group of peace-seeking Lerman immigrants fled to Maridun, an uncharted world, in order to avoid the violence and bloodshed on Mygito. During the Clone Wars, Mygito was aligned with the Confederacy of Independent Systems and controlled by the Intergalactic Banking Clan. The planet would be the site of many battles during the war, such as the Third Battle of Mygito and the Fourth Battle of Mygito. Towards the end of the war, during Order 66, Jedi General Kiati Mundi was leading his troops, the 21st Nova Corps, including at least two UTATs across a bridge spanning two city blocks. He would be subsequently killed by his clone troopers. 
there was no known native flora or fauna on Megiddo. Notable characters who hail from Megiddo are Tiwatka, a lerman who led his pacifist colony off Megiddo to Maradun. Ayla Sakura is on the tropical planet Felucia when she is taken down. Felucia was a terrestrial planet located in the Thanium sector of the Outer Rim territories. It had a population of roughly 425 million Felucians and 8 moons. It was located in grid square R6 on the standard galactic grid. Felucia was a terrestrial planet with a breathable atmosphere. It was a colorful world overrun with thick and humid jungle made up by a unique combination of fungi species. Its climate was hot and humid, and the planet was dotted with small farming villages. Felucia was located among the Perlemian trade route. That, along with its important resources, made it an important battleground throughout the Clone Wars. Felucia was home to the native species the Felucians. Felucians were a sentient species native to the plains and grasslands of the planet. At the time of the Clone Wars, many Felucians were peaceful farmers growing Nysalin and other crops. Immigrated species to the planet include the Gosum, a wrinkly blue-skinned sentient species who helped industrialize the planet, and the Kyuzo, a lanky bipedal sentient species. Flora on the planet included the Nysalin, a healing herb, and the Yerdua, a vicious plant. Fauna was more variable and included the Jungle Rancor, a subspecies of the Rancor, the Manta, a manta ray species, the Gallagrub, a species of ground beetle, and the Sarlacc, a carnivorous creature, to name a few. Kuaitiao was the capital of the planet, the Commerce Guild, a conglomerate of several galactic-scale corporate organizations, had a large presence in the city, with their headquarters located just outside. Kuaitiao was originally built using Felucian laborers, aided financially by the Gossam. Known characters to hail from Felucia include Cassis, an elder who hired bounty hunters to protect his village from pirates, and Delani, a member of the same farming village. Plo Koon is flying above the planet Cato Nemoidia when he is shot down. Cato Nemoidia was a planet located in the Queller sector of the colony's region of the galaxy. It had two moons and was located in grid sector N11 on the standard galactic grid. Cato Nemoidia had a breathable atmosphere and much of the world was covered in a persistent fog. Its primary terrain was a stormy geyser spouting acidic ocean. Emerging from these oceans were massive rock arches, cliffs, and canyons where forests and grasslands thrived. There were no known native species to Cato Nemoidia. Immigrated species to the planet included Nemoidians, a humanoid species with noseless faces, green-gray skin, and red eyes. They were known for their business sense and greed. Cato Nemoidia was a wealthy colony world, one of the most prominent purse worlds colonized by the Nemoidians. It was the base of operations for the Trade Federation, an interstellar shipping and trade conglomerate during the waning years of the Galactic Republic, one so powerful that it had its own representatives in the Galactic Senate. Cato Nemoidia was eventually developed to the point that it was considered to be a more desirable and hospitable destination than the Nemoidian homeworld. The Nemoidians constructed opulent bridge cities that spanned the world's rock arches and cliffs and jeweled palaces owned by Trade Federation barons who sought constantly to one-up each other and dazzle guests with displays of ostentatious hospitality and luxury living. The only major city on Cato Nemoidia and Canon was Tarkose. It was built beside a mountain known as Bridges Talon. There was no known native flora or fauna to hail from Cato Nemoidia in Canon. There were also no known characters in canon to hail from the planet. That being said, many famous characters did visit the planet, such as Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Cato Nemoidia is also the planet Jedi Plo Koon was killed on during Order 66. Clones attempt to take down Yoda on Kashyyyk, but he survives. He and Obi-Wan meet on Coruscant and head to the Jedi Temple. Upon learning that Anakin has fallen to the dark side, Yoda heads to face off against Sidious, and Obi-Wan heads to Mustafar to face Vader. Mustafar was a small planet in the Mustafar system of the Outer Rim. It had a population of 15 to 20,000 and no moons. Mustafar was once a lush garden planet thriving with life thanks to the power of an ancient artifact known as the Bright Star. However, this changed when Lady Corvax, a Force-sensitive, unleashed the energies of the Bright Star in an attempt to bring her husband back to life. 
The resulting gravimetric duel between the gas giants Jestifat and Lafrani over Mustafar heated the planet's core, transforming the lush world into an imbalanced volcanic landscape, powerful in the dark side of the force. Mustafar remained a fiery world until the destruction of the bright star, at which point the planet was allowed to regrow. Such different states of the world led some to believe that spiritual forces were the catalysts to the changes in Mustafar's nature. The planet's instability caused magma carrying valuable ores to reach the surface. This in turn attracted business interest from various galactic mining groups such as the Mining Guild and the Techno Union to extract mineral wealth from the otherwise untouched world. The magma that bubbled beneath the surface flooded the planet, covering it in oceans and rivers of lava. Nevertheless, patches of Mustafar began to cool in the decades leading up to 35 ABY. Mustafar was home to a sentient insectoid species known as the Mustafarians. They were known to be hardy and well adapted to their changing homeworld. They took up residence in underground caves that were made by lava fleas munching through Mustafar's crust. Immigrated sentient species on the planet included phalenes and humans. Mustafar was also home to various forms of flora and fauna. Flora included the Iron Tree, a tree notably found within the forest of Corvax Fen, and Cahal Cave Fungus, a fungus that grew underground. The fauna on the planet was particularly lethal. The Dark Gas was a multi-limb creature that could be found beneath the surface, and the Lava Nymphs were winged creatures that lived in hives in the planet's caverns. Other fauna included Lava Fleas, Fire Rats, Zandangs, Lava Eels, and the Musafar Beetle. While there are no notable characters who hailed from Mustafar, Darth Vader spent a significant amount of time in his fortress on the planet. Fortress Vader was built on the site of a former Sith temple and was erected with the help of ancient Sith Lord Momin. Darth Sidious also visits the planet, notably when he finds the gravely injured Vader at the end of Episode 3. Sidious also built facilities on the planet where he would bring Force-sensitive infants to be transformed into agents of the Inquisitorius. Kylo Ren also visits the planet in his quest to find the Sith Wayfinder. After defeating Vader, Obi-Wan meets Yoda and Bail Organa on the asteroid of Polis Massa, where Padme gives birth to twins Luke and Leia, and then dies. Meanwhile, Vader is rebuilt at the Grand Republic Medical Facility on Coruscant. Padme's funeral takes place on the planet Naboo. Naboo was a pastoral planet located in the Mid-Rim, near the border to the Outer Rim territories. It had a population of roughly 4.5 billion and three moons, Omadun, Onoam, and Varuna. Its surface consisted of a variety of different landscapes, such as rolling plains, grassy hills, mountains, and swampy lakes. In addition to the natural beauty of the planet, Naboo was also known for having some of the galaxy's most beautiful urban centers, which were crafted using building materials from the porous crust's natural plasma. This plasma was a unique naturally occurring energy. Unlike most other worlds, the ancient planet lacked a molten core and instead comprised of a conglomerate of large rocky bodies that made up a network of tunnels and flooded caves. These were used by certain Gungan navigators as trade routes and were regarded by astrophysicists as an extremely rare phenomenon in the galaxy. Naboo was inhabited by two societies. The Gungans were the first, and for thousands of years they flourished until the arrival of the Naboo, a group of human colonists who crash-landed on the planet. A cultural misunderstanding resulted in a series of quarrels between the Gungans and the human colonists. Both sides refused to acknowledge their responsibilities in the rift, and the two groups ostracized each other for the longest time. That situation lasted until the invasion of Naboo by the Trade Federation, which forced the humans and the Gungans to join forces. Naboo was also home to a variety of flora and fauna. Flora included the Cambalictus tree, Lowcap, the Naboo lettuce, and the Perlot tree. Most of the land animals on Naboo were peaceful, such as the Shack, the Fambas, and the Kadu. However, there were many menacing creatures who lived in the planet's oceans, such as the OPC Killer and the Sando Aqua Monster. Notable characters who hail from Naboo include Padme Amidala, Sheev Palpatine, Gregor Typho, Korsh Panaka, Jar Jar Binks, and Rugor Nas. Bail Organa takes Leia to his wife on Alderaan. 
Alderaan was a core world planet located in the Alderaan system. It had a population of roughly 2 billion and zero moons. From space, Alderaan appeared blue-green with a white web of clouds and was known throughout the galaxy as the planet of beauty. The surface of Alderaan was covered in a variety of landscape types such as vast water bodies, grassy hills, and snow-capped mountains. Other than the natural beauty of the planet, the cities of Alderaan were particularly unique. They were designed to respect the natural beauty of the environment of which they were located. One such example is the Royal Palace of Alderaan, which blended into the snow-capped mountain peaks of which it was located in. The architecture of Alderaan used a material called white synthstone. This inspired other colonies such as Cloud City and planets such as Lothal to use the same. The majority of inhabitants on Alderaan were humans known as Alderaanians. This population was known for being pacifists, opting to shun weapons during times of galactic conflict. That being said, many of them did choose to join the rebellion against the Galactic Empire. On Alderaan, the population was encouraged to pursue education and growth. All education was free, and people would volunteer to teach various skills or crafts just for fun. Alderaan was home to a variety of flora and fauna. In terms of flora, the chinar tree, the conifer, the star blossom, and the star flower were native to the planet. In terms of fauna, the Alderanian wolf cat, the nerf, the snow owl, and the thranta were native. Following the rise of Sheev Palpatine's galactic empire, Alderaan played a pivotal role in the establishment of the Rebel Alliance, a movement that sought to restore the Old Republic's values. Because of its ties with the Alliance, the planet was destroyed when Grand Moff Tarkin decided to test the super laser of the Death Star at full strength. Notable characters who hail from Alderaan include Bail Organa, Breha Organa, Leia Organa through adoption, Cara Dune, Ramus Antilles, and Carlos Rican. The episode closes when Obi-Wan brings baby Luke to his family on the planet Tatooine. Tatooine was a sparsely inhabited, circumbinary desert planet located in the galaxy's Outer Rim territories. It had two suns, Tattoo 1 and Tattoo 2, and three moons, Gomrasin, Germesa, and Chanini. It had a population of about 200,000. Tatooine had a hot and arid climate. Part of a binary star system, the planet was oppressed by scorching suns, resulting in the world lacking the necessary surface water to sustain large populations. As a result, many residents of the planet instead drew water from the atmosphere via moisture farms. The whole planet was covered in harsh deserts, and only a small part of its northern hemisphere could sustain intelligent life. The landscape was covered with sand dunes, mountains, and canyons, which made traversing the planet very difficult. Due to the planet's dangerously high daytime temperatures and whipping sandstorms, most residents of Tatooine kept their skin covered with practical materials that wick away sweat and limit exposure to the harmful ultraviolet radiation of the twin suns. Tatooine had only a few port cities, including Moss Espa and Moss Eisley. These cities were separated from each other by large expanses of deserts and tended to attract many criminals and lowlifes. The standard of living in the cities was often poor. Slavery, while banned through republic laws, was readily and blatantly practiced on Tatooine. An entire section of Mos Espa was purposed as a slave quarter. On Tatooine, at least, the institution of slavery was seen as a socio-economic symbol of wealth and prestige, resulting in highly protective owners who reluctantly parted with their possessions. Used as capital and business transaction, nearly all slavery operations were overseen by the Hutt clan, who maintained a presence on Tatooine. Jabba the Hutt owned a palace in the desert, at least by the time of the Clone Wars, until his death shortly before the Battle of Endor. Points of interest on Tatooine included Ben's Mesa, a flat-topped mountain, Beggar's Canyon, a dry riverbed that cut through Ben's Mesa, the Dune Sea, a vast stretch of desert, Eve Crater Valley, which was a part of the Bunta Eve Classic Padres, the Great Shot Salt Flat, a dry expanse of hard-packed fusion of clay and sodium-rich sand, the Great Pit of Carcoon, home to the Sarlacc, and Chalum Spaceport Cantina, also known as the Moss Eisley Cantina, a drinking and dining establishment located in Moss Eisley. Tatooine was home to a variety of different flora and fauna. Flora included the Black Melon, the Lambda, and the Pali, to name a few, 
Fauna included the carnivorous crate dragons, which were the largest on the planet, the common bantha, the opie species, the sarlacc, along with dewbacks, rontos, womp rats, massives, and scurriers, to name a few. Tatooine was the home world to the Jawa and Tusken Raider species. Jawas were a sentient species of meter-tall humanoids. They were passionate scavengers, combing the deserts of Tatooine for droids or scraps, which they would capture and sell to local residents, forming a codependent circle of trade. Tusken Raiders, also known as Sand People, were a culture of nomadic, primitive sentience. They were known to be extremely xenophobic and territorial of their native resources, often attacking the outskirts of smaller settlements. The most notable characters to hail from Tatooine were Anakin Skywalker and Luke Skywalker, both who would go on to shape galactic history. Other characters who called Tatooine their home world included Cobb Vanth, Shmi Skywalker, Owen Lars, Beru Lars, Klieg Lars, and Biggs Darklighter, to name a few. There were many other characters throughout the saga who spent time on Tatooine as well. And there you have it. Thanks for watching everyone. What did you think of this video? Would you like to see more videos like this? Let us know down below in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come. We hope to see you all again in Leia's Lair. You are not a Jedi yet. Oh.